Oh, it's so good in here. This is so cool. There's like a whole infrastructure in here. I do go out of town. He actually thought I was going to Vegas this weekend. <laughs> Well, my name is James Mirellis, founder of Pulp Coffee, a private label wholesale manufacturer of roasted coffee. I believe God kind of birthed coffee on the inside from a, from a summer camp. After that camp, I immediately came back to San Antonio. I applied, on, applied for a job that wanted a, a store manager, and I walk in and the owner says, well, there goes my general manager. Do you know how to run a coffee shop? I said, yes sir, I sure do. And sure enough, he gave me the opportunity to open up my own coffee shop, gave me a percentage of the business. So I was all of 20 years of age, had my first coffee shop with percentage ownership. And I'm gonna go do this for the rest of my life. I'm gonna go open up gourmet cafes. Well, Pulp Coffee started out as an idea with a very close friend of mine and coworker. We originally had an idea to do wine, coffee, pretty much everything that consisted of something with pulp. And I came back home to my roots in San Antonio and decided to start Pulp Coffee. Well, a very wonderful lady by the name of Kathy Siegel was hosting and, and putting on the San Antonio Cocktail Conference. She says, I'm gonna partner you up with Liquor 43. We started playing around it with espresso, with cold brew, with hot coffee, with lattes, anything you can think of. And as we were testing and tasting, I decided, you know what, I need to create a coffee that will complement Liquor 43 and balance it where the coffee doesn't overtake the liqueur, but it's a complementary item. So that's when I came up with four beans using three region. I knew I needed an African coffee. That's where the brightness, the juiciness, the fruit flavors come into play. But I knew I had to get a coffee that was also just a stabilizer. And that's where your Guatemala bean comes from. The Guatemalan coffees are very neutral. They're, they're just a good blender component. And then I brought in two Colombian coffees. One has a lot of citrusy notes already. The other one was also somewhat balanced like the, the Guatemalan. And so I put all these together and blended them according to different ratios. And finally found the, what I believe is the perfect ratio to complement Liquor 43. Now, it's not just about the food, it's about the beverage. So you'll see uh, very, very well-known chefs who are incorporating locally roasted coffees, high-end organic teas. Beverage is just as important as food. It's, it's about who can be creative, who has the next best flair. And we want to be a part of that next generation that is creating, developing, and figuring out just the next cool concepts.